This is the Armed Forces Tournament. Up first, the Sergeant's Duel, where a sergeant from the Army will go up against an active duty staff sergeant from the Air Force. All right, guys, you will be building the M1915 yes. Bolo Bayonet. The M1915 Bolo Bayonet was a hybrid version of the Bolo knife and a traditional bayonet originally designed at the turn of the 20th century. This versatile battle weapon featured the lightweight curved blade of the Bolo, ideal for slashing through dense jungles. The muzzle hole guard attaches the blade to the end of the rifle, where it's used to inflict deadly stabs against rival troops. Only 6,000 Bolo bayonets were issued before they were discontinued by World War II, making it extremely rare and valuable to collectors. My name is Furman Lopez. I am 52 years old. I work for the VA hospital, and I'm a part-time bladesmith from North Carolina. When I first joined the military, I got into the aviation brigade. Our unit got activated. We ended up heading over to Iraq, and pretty much everything just flew from there. Every minute counts in this competition, so while I'm waiting for this canister to get up in temperature, I say to myself, let's get started on the guard. I get a marker, and I start painting my shape. When the canister looks like it's almost white, that's when it's forging temperature. It's moving the way I want it. It's nice and hot. It's just moving great. Now that the billet is the size that I want, I go over to Big Blue because the belly has to be at least two inches. Now that I have the belly to the parameters that I need, it's time to get it ready for the quenching. I go in for the quench. There we go. Berman's in the oil. I pull it out, and I see no bends, nothing. Papa! At this point, I'm looking at my knife, and I'm like, let's start putting it together. All right, let's get this buddy started. I picked the leather stack. It's quick, it's easy, and it works. My name is Joseph Collette. I'm an E5 in the United States Air Force, and uh, hope I kick some Army ass. I am currently active duty, SEER specialist. SEER is Survival Evasion Resistance Escape. I teach them how to survive the worst days of their life. I get my welds set in the press, and then I move over to Big Blue. My plan is to draw those out and then cut them into threes. So that's going to be 39 layers in each billet. Bring it over the press and give it a little bit of loving. All right, Joe's consolidating those welds on the over 200 layers of steel. I've got my billet into a blade shape, and I'm trying to get to a quench. So my plan right now is just to do the edge quench. So by edge quenching, I ensure that the edge is hard without causing a warp. Saying don't crack, don't bend. I pull it out, it's good enough, and then it's on to the grinder to, to grind this thing to shape. Now it's time to put my handle on. I've already prepped my two pieces of my carta, put a little bit of glue on, and I have a handle that is on. I've got my blade shape, and I look in, I see this little bubble, and I'm like, oh, great, we got a blister. I'm like, really? So I just do a quick weld, try to get as much of it off as possible. I weld it up, got this soft spot that's now developed on my blade. While it's still hot, I just shove that thing in the water. It's better to be hard than soft. Coming down the last seconds of the round, I need to try to get as much of a blister off as possible, because I almost guarantee they're going to whack that blade right on that spot. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmith, this round is over. Bye-bye. All right, gentlemen, it's test time. Up first is the strength test. I'll be taking your 1915 Bolo bayonets and stabbing them into these fuel cans and then striking the fuel cans. Furman, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, okay. I'm ready. All right. All right, Furman, um, it's a comfortable handle. I, I like your choice. Thank you. As far as your blade goes, it's held up very well. It's sharp, got some weight in this thing, but that's fine. I mean, this is a chopping machine. This was meant to be chopping through a jungle. Mm -hmm. All in all, nice job. Thank you, sir, thank you. All right, Joe, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Joe, we realized that you had that D-lamb, that blister on the side. I think you made a really good choice to fill that with weld. 
and I hit the edge right above that thing, so you didn't lose the temper on that edge. Nice. But you're kind of missing the waist on this blade, so the profile becomes a much more elongated cutting edge as opposed to the belly and then the waist. Um, as far as your handle goes, it's a little on the round and smooth side. It has the ability to turn. You could easily lose an inch of that handle. Probably would have made it a much more secure blade in my hand, because it's got a lot of weight to it. But the blade is in the same shape it started out in, and you didn't really lose any of the sharpness. So really well done. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, this is the sharpness test the military bed stab and slice. Now, to find out how sharp your weapons are, I'm going to take your bolo bayonets and stab and slice on this military bed. Fed me, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Okay, Fenomena, let's talk about your bolo bayonet here. First up, in profile, it looks very much like the sample that we had out there. Now let's talk about your edge. Your edge is sharp. It was so sharp that actually, because of the weight, whoa, it surprised me cutting into this military bed. Overall, sir, your bolo bayonet, you will cut. Yes. All right, Joe, your turn, so you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. All right, Joe, let's talk about your bolo bayonet here. First up, your handle construction. It is a little bit on the longer side. I really need to hold on to this a little bit more to be able to get that retention going. Your edge and your tip are quite sharp. Stabbing through and cutting on this cot with no resistance. And overall, sir, your bolo bayonet, it will cut. Awesome. Well, guys, you both nailed it with your bolo bayonets. They're both strong. They are both extremely sharp. But only one of you guys is going to move forward in this competition to the final round. The bladesmith who's going to be moving forward into the final round of the Armed Forces Redeployment Tournament is... Fireman, congratulations, man. Now, Joe, unfortunately, you're not going to be moving forward in this competition. I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the porch floor. Thank you, Joe. This was... Truly down to the details and no excuses. Having the opportunity to participate again and compete against my fellow brothers in arms was extremely challenging, but at the same time, very rewarding that I actually was able to turn in a piece that could be tested and performed very well. <laughs> well, Furman, your hard work paid off. Your M1915 Bolo Bayonet is taking you on to the final round of our Armed Forces Redeployment Tournament. You just got to check for $2,000 and a seat in the finals, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just cannot believe that I'm actually moving into the next round. Woo, man, I almost passed out. <laughs> you ready to bring your A game for the finals? Absolutely. Good job, bud. I am so excited to move on to the next round of the competition. I want to become the Fortune Fire champion. I'm on my way to it. I want to do it.